Hey guys, this is Anna Dia from Campus Homepage Building and Design. This tutorial is all about replacing your music. I've had a user ask me about um, how you would change your music on a layout if it was, you know, like a play pause button or if it was invisible music. How would you change that? Um, we have a video up for how to add the music, but not really how to edit the music. So um, the user that requested this is Marmo. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. But I'm going to be using um, their code. Um, hopefully this will help you guys um, and it won't be so confusing. So what you'll need is to get your new YouTube song. Yes, it has to be on YouTube. Um, personally, I don't know how to do it with MP3s at this point uh, because I use the gaff generator. Um, but go ahead and get your YouTube song of choice up. Okay. And then I'm going to zoom in on this code so you can see it. You're going to scroll down until you find the music box. Um, if you've ordered a layout from Nerd Girl HP, which is my personal shop, um, this is how it's all set up. If you have music of some kind, it'll usually say music box. If not, um, if, you, if I didn't name it that, um, look for YouTube links. So like right here, it has a YouTube link, or it says YouTube box. Um, just like, like, enlarge the code and read through it a little bit. Um, music box. So where it says the second div is, so there's D, there's div ID, and there's another one. You're going to highlight everything here, all the way into the last div, and you're going to backspace. This deletes the old music, and it allows you to put in the new music. So we're going to be using GAF210's generator, which is GAF210 at imvustyles.net. Um, and you can go, you can hover over generators, and you'll find the YouTube player. Um, and that's what we'll be using. Um, for the play pause button, uh, all you need to do is go down here and you will click button. And then you can choose a color. Um, this one I set up for black whenever I first designed it. Um, so. Um, okay, so your video link ID is your URL up here. So copy that, paste it in this box. Don't worry about these. You don't have to design your own button. If you want to autoplay, click autoplay. If you want to click, if you want it to repeat itself, you click repeat. But then you click generate. This code. Do not edit this code. Okay. Um, it's a big thing. Do not edit the code. <laughs> Copy that code. It should automatically highlight, and then you just press. Let's see if you hear it. Sorry, I just really like this. <laughs> Then you take that code, and between that blank space that we just created by deleting, you're going to paste it in there. And then your new music is right where you left it, so on your layout, the, like, for instance, we use the play, the play pause button here. Your button will be in the same position, except it's just a different song. So rather than going into the code and meticulously editing it, um, it's a lot easier just to go back to the generator and do it that way. So, I hope you guys found it a little bit more simple. Um, I know this tutorial is a little late and I do apologize. Um, but, that's how you do the music code. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just going to kind of talk about like the different buttons on here. Since it's kind of a appropriate video. Control list. Um, you'll just have the video um, playing, which will be the 300 by 200. Uh, that's I think that's the smallest it can go. Um, the control list, it won't have a play pause and it won't have a progress bar, but you can click on the video itself and it'll pause, which is great. The button is just the play pause button, so you click the play, you click the pause it. Um, it's really simple. Button and volume is the play pause button, as well as a volume slider so that you can turn up the volume or you can turn it down and mute it. Button volume and progress, which is the almost the second to last option. Um, it's everything at the bottom of the YouTube video. So like if we're looking at a YouTube video, play, volume, and then this is your progress bar. Um, I'm sure you can make them different, you know, lengths, but that's what that is. And then invisible is where you don't see the player at all, um, but you can still hear the music. Um, I would just I would say I just did a, a layout. Um, 
for iHarmonica, and it was a no show player. So. Um, there's also an option up here for playlists, if some of you are interested in that. Keep in mind with the playlist, the only two options available are the control list and the invisible. Um, if you have a playlist, um, you'll have to go to that playlist, which I will go show you guys the playlist that I made for Miss Evelyn. Um, you'll click on the play all. And then the link that clicks on, or when you click play all, that link up top, that's the link you're going to want to use. I'm going to exit out of this because my computer's lagging. But you'll use that code, you'll use that link up top, you'll put it in here, click on control list or invisible, and then repeat if you want it to repeat, and there you go. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact me or contact any moderator at Canvas. Um, just kind of a slight update. We did just close our Facebook group. Um, it's been open since 2009, so it was kind of, kind of a bittersweet moment, but we are highly active on our forums, um, canvas-imvu.forumotion.com. Um, the link will be in the description, and I hope you to see you guys on there. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post on the forums or message us privately. Thanks for watching.